Hey everyone, this is Stephen Casey Ralph in here, and welcome to another model rarity video. So today I have some new rolling stocks. I picked up some, uh, like a little rolling stock haul from a hobby store called Yankee Dabbler, which is, I believe, it's a, it's a hobby store that's located up in New Jersey, which I ordered online from. And I gotta say, their service is actually really good. I'm actually really impressed with their service. And so I have some rolling stocks here. So you can see I have. Three Walters Mainline Rolling Stocks and one that's an after. So we'll be we'll be taking a look to see what we got. So we're gonna start with the Walters Mainline cars. So the first one I have is this car. This is a a Southern Railway box car. So it's a mo it's basically a modern foot. So it's a 50 foot ACF EP box car with dreadnought ends. So. So this is a, in the Southern Railway box car. So now this is probably possibly my third Southern Railway box car because one I got back in 2021, which is like a which is something I got from Zetneck Trains while on my Florida trip. There's that, and then I have another Southern box car, which you have seen as another Walters Mainline, which you've seen in my previous videos, which is that one I think I got for Christmas from one time. I think that was like 20. 2022 I think and now we have another one so this is my third Southern Railway box car because I always got these because I always love the scheme on the Southern Railway modern box cars because they always look pretty cool and I've seen them quite a few times in person before so I got that so this will be perfect for for the for my Norfolk Southern mixed braids so this will be cool so we'll set that aside next up is I have another, I picked up another Southern Railway Pullman Standard 4750 hopper, even though it says, even though it says Trinity 4750, but we'll call this a Pullman Standard, because these were built by, I believe these were built by Pullman Standard. So I have another Southern hopper, which looks really cool. So it's another new addition I have. And then last, and then, and then obviously another Norfolk Southern hopper. You know, Trinity 4750 or Pullman Standard, however you want to say it. There's that. Looks really cool. And last but not least, the Atherin car is this one right here. This is the a Conrail box car. So here's the detail. So it's a 50 foot high cube double plug door box car. So it's Conrail. I just, because when I first saw this, I was like, oh, I really think it's, this is actually looks really cool. I thought... Would be nice to have this on the layout. So I got another Conrail box car. To for more of the Conrail rolling stocks I have because I have a bunch of hoppers, gondolas, and then, then also some box cars. And then I believe this is my. This is actually another box car I have like like you know that's a non A6 foot because I do have one A6 foot but I haven't ran my A6 foot box cars in a while. But I might think about getting, bringing the, the A6 foot box cars back in the future time. So yeah, so there's that. So those are all the four rolling stocks I have that are new. So now I'm going to unbox all of these off camera so you can see what they look like outside the box. Alright guys, so here they are outside the box. So here it is. We'll start with the Conrail. So here's what the Conrail box card looks like. Look at that. That's really good detail. It's got love the, do the doors, love door details. It's got some... Even though this is like a Razor Worlds, not much, not much detail, but it's pretty cool. It's got the McHenry couplers, which maybe one day I might plan to replace these with KDs one day, because KDs are new to be more reliable. So look at that scheme looks good, nice. Look at the can opener scheme looks really cool. The roof nicely done, very nice. So now here are the hoppers. So the hoppers look really cool too, and. Doesn't really have like a see-through detail on the on the roof. It's got lots of good detail. It's got Prolamax couplers. You can see. Very cool. Middle wheels. Great detail. There's that. So now we'll show you the southern. So the southern's the same thing. Looks really cool. Basically, it's kind of like the basically the same color as the NS one, but it looks really cool. Same detail, and it's got you know brake wheels. Looks really good on them, especially the the bay areas. Looks like nicely done too. It's really cool. And now we'll move on to the Southern box car. Southern box car looks very nice, nice too. Great underbody detail. 
couplers and all that. It's absolutely awesome. So it says the south. Oh. And wow. And yes, for the doors, they do not open. They just mold it in. So I'll show you this side. It's cool. It's got a silver roof. Everything about this is really cool. Uh, this is actually a really stunning box car. I love this a lot. It's really cool. So uh, let me see if I can try to compare it with the other seven box car I have. So hold on a sec. So here's my other seven box car. So, uh oh, so you can see the difference. So you can see, here's the one I recently got a few years ago, and here's the new one. As you can see, the difference is that you know they have you know besides the road numbers, and, and if you look carefully, you know let me couple both of them together. As you can see, the Southern Service and South are in different fonts. Really cool. And this one's got the silver roof. And all that. And it says, according to what it says on the bottom, it says, new, let me see, new of 1975. And this one says, I believe it says, right here, I believe this came out built, built in 1979. So, there's some differences between these two boxcars. And you can see, and all that, so it's really cool. And they even have this little feature right here. I believe these are the dreadnought ends, as they said. So you can see it's got both sides of them. This one does. This one does. So it's really cool. So. So anyways, so there it is. So that's basically the the haul of my new rolling stocks. So basically, these are all rolling stocks that for the where the Norfolk Southern trains I'm going to be running. So I may run them on like a 122, possibly some, and several others, because this is actually really cool. I'm actually really impressed with these. And I can't wait to run these on the layout sometime in future operating sessions, so stay tuned for that. So, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, have a good day everybody.